Hello everyone, my name is Bronze, but you might know me better by my alter ego, Sploshmaster3000. Recently, I've been getting a lot of fan mail while playing Neo Sploosh. Here are some of the more common questions. Would you stop memeing? Can you go literally any other weapon? How did you get 0 KA in a 5 minute match with overtime? Ah, and my personal favorite? How can you sleep at night knowing you're literal garbage? These positive vibes really inspired me and I decided I would pass down my extensive knowledge to enlighten my fellow Neo Spoof players. Now you may have heard of this thing called the meta, maybe even seen a tier list or two in your life before. While Neo Spoof usually doesn't make everyone's top fives for the best weapon, it doesn't automatically mean it's the worst. Usually. First, let's talk about the weapon itself. The first thing you need to know about the Neo Sploosh is that its legal name is the Neo Sploosh Omatic. This won't help you win any fights, but it makes you sound a bit more sophisticated. The Neo Sploosh Omatic is a fast weapon that can paint really well. It is great for people who prefer to run away from all of their problems. Its range is comparable to that of trying to ram your body into your opponent. It can apply as much pressure as the world's softest bed. While shooting the main weapon, you can also squid bag at the same time. Not only is this a great movement option, it can make you look like you're lagging more than you already are. That's enough about the main weapon. Let's talk about its sub and special. The Neo Sploosh comes with its trusty help signal that can call your allies to you whenever you're in a pinch, which is all the time. Since any ally can jump to you, you never know who you're going to get till they walk through that door, making that the most versatile sub in the game. However, since you're playing Neo Sploosh, you don't have any friends anyways, and no one will want to come to your aid. Next up are missiles. Missiles are good for pressuring your opponents. When someone is marked with missiles, they'll probably move away from you. This is great so that you can use your range to run up after them for half the match to secure the kill. The best thing about missiles is that they even work from spawn. Of course, whenever making a weapon guide, you always have to talk about what gear to run. The Neo Sploosh is like a lot of weapons where there are many options you have in the gear set you choose. In fact, your best options are located right on this first tab. Here, you can select literally anything but this first option and you'll be good to go. But if none of these are really your preference and you want to stick with this first option, well, I've got even better news. You can go whatever gear you like because nothing will help you overcome the skill gap between your Neo Sploosh and your opponent's anything. If you want to close the skill gap just a tiny bit, well, here are some gears I can recommend. Things like swim speed and run speed to run away from your problems faster. You can use comeback and quick respawn because you're going to be dying a lot and getting no kills anyways. You can run main power. That can help you secure some kills more frequently than once in a blue moon. Or my personal favorite, special charge. That you can look like you did something useful by firing off 10 missiles in the match. Next I want to talk about what maps you should run Neo Sploosh on. Such as what maps are good for it and what maps are just a little hard for it. I'll focus on the maps that it's best on and any maps not mentioned you can assume that the Neo Sploosh performs slightly worse on. Let's hop right into it. The first one is Starfish's main stage. On this stage, Flink to get splatted is a true combo. The next one is Humpback. As long as the enemy isn't running a Roller, Slosher, or Blaster, you'll do just fine. Ah yes, then there's Moray. Honestly, this map is pretty fun being able to only paint up half the walls on all of the map. Ah, then there's Kelp Dome. This map is great, as long as your enemies don't stand under the grate while you missile them. 
Ah, then there's Black Belly. As long as the enemy team doesn't run a front line, you'll be golden. Schellendorf Institute. Honestly, I forgot this map existed, and I would prefer to go back to not remembering it. Ah, Arowana. This map is pretty good as long as your enemy doesn't have the high ground at all at any time during the match. Same with Gobi. Camp Triggerfish? Pick a god and pray. And for Albacore, have a second god ready in case your first fails you for Camp Triggerfish. As for modes, I personally think that Rainmaker is the best mode for Neo Spoosh. This is because you can literally choose to be a better weapon mid-match by picking up the Rainmaker. We're almost to the end of this video, but I want to talk about fighting some specials and the option Neo Sploosh has for dealing with some of them. First one I want to talk about is Stingray. Stingray, you can dodge to your heart's content, but I wouldn't recommend actually trying to fight the Stingray person because you'll probably die in the year that it takes you to get close enough to them to kill them. Then there's Inkjet. Inkjet is too high for you to hit, so you should just run away. My personal favorite special to fight against is Splashdown. Like every other special, Splashdown is also too high for you to hit. But don't fear, you still have your trusty option of running away. What will help with this even more is some map knowledge. Map knowledge is knowledge about the map such as all the beans and blocks to use to evade enemy fire. With map knowledge, you can seek out the nearest cover to hide behind and save your cowardly life. Booyah Bomb is another great special to fight against. Spoiler alert, it's too high for you to hit and their armor is impenetrable, so you should probably just run away. Finally there's Stamp. Plot twist, you should run away and hope you don't get yeeted into a montage. Thank you for watching before we go into the montage. It is sellout time. And this featured sellout is for Control Freak. You can use code RECRUIT302 from now until February 27, 2019 for 10% off at Control Freak. This is for your thumbsticks, skins, controller grips, HDMI cables, USB cables, everything related to your controller. Image has made for PS4, Xbox One. It is also for the Nintendo Switch. And with that, we are going into our montage. Thank you.